everyone thank you so much for stopping by my channel and hanging out with me for another video in today's video i'm going to be organizing cleaning and decluttering my kitchen just switching a few things in the cabinets around to where they make more sense i've made a few changes in the kitchen in the past few weeks with the location of my coffee machine toaster and a few things like that so i wanted to relocate some of the things in the cabinets for instance the coffee cups i wanted to move those close to the coffee machine i wanted to relocate the most frequently used dishes to the cabinet that is closest to the dishwashers this way it makes sense that the heaviest, most frequently used items are the closest to the dishwasher so when you're unpacking it, it is much easier. Honestly, a lot of the cabinets were already really well organized. Like I mentioned, we have only been living here for the past few months, so they were pretty neat and clean. I just wanted to really go through and tweak them, make those minor changes, give it a straighten up and declutter anything that I hadn't used since we've been here. I have a couple of appliances in my Amazon cart that I'm thinking of getting. I'm just kind of debating on them at the moment. So there's an air fryer, there's an instant pot, and there is a slow cooker that has a sear function. So if I do end up purchasing any of those, I'll probably rearrange the appliance cabinets down by the stove. But for now, they're pretty good as they are. I'm really happy with how the things are on the top of the counters. It is a small kitchen, so we do have to keep things out. But these are the things that we use every day, so it makes sense to have them out anyway. I love having easy access to things like chopping boards, the soda stream and paper towels because you're going to use them every day. I don't want to be digging through cabinets. And the other less attractive cutting boards are just stored in the cabinet underneath. Additionally, I wanted to relocate all of the least frequently used things like the wine glasses and the alcohol and all that kind of stuff down to the least number of cabinets possible and up to the highest, least easily accessed cabinets. So the ones that are high up and above the fridge. So obviously if you're not using them every day, you don't need easy access to them. And I wanted to dedicate that buffet that was in the living room next to the dining table to all the kind of things that my kids need to access, like to set the table, placemats, all of our like entertaining dishes and things like that. So my first tip when you are decluttering, organizing, cleaning your kitchen, is to make sure that you have all your dishes washed so that when you're organizing your cabinets you're organizing everything that you have you're not organizing dishes to fit in a cabinet only to find that you've got a full dishwasher of dishes and containers and all that kind of stuff that you then need to find a place for so make sure your dishes are all done caught up and then start your organizing process now I had a fairly good idea of what I wanted to do and it was quite straightforward. It was a straight switch of the things that were in the left upper cabinets to the right upper cabinets. So switching the crockery and plates, bowls, all those everyday used items over to the one that was closest to the dishwasher. And then all of the glasses and the coffee mugs and all of the drinking kind of vessels over to the right hand cabinet, which is the closest to where the coffee machine is. And it's also right near the kettle. So when I make a tea, everything is right in easy access of each other. The main things that we have in the dishwasher are always plates and bowls. So it also makes sense that just for the speed of emptying the dishwasher that they're in the cabinet that's closest. boys are in charge of setting the table for dinner and they also share the responsibility of emptying the dishwasher therefore all of the frequently used items have to be able to be reached by my youngest son so I have to make sure that everything that he needs access to are all on the bottom shelves no the nibbles no the nibbles oh you're hungry for your lunch you had a big big sleep now you need to have some lunch you can't eat mummy. No, you can't eat mummy. You can't eat mummy's watch. Oh, honey bunny. You had a big sleep. No, don't eat mummy. Meow, meow. Meow. You stand there. Stand there.
Quite often when I do a clean, organize and declutter of my kitchen, as soon as I'm finished cleaning, it's making dinner time and then I make a big mess. So on this particular occasion, I just did a simple wipe down of the surfaces and then I went in and made dinner. And then once dinner was finished making, I went in and did a bit of a deeper clean of the kitchen. Before we moved house, I managed to do a pretty thorough declutter of the whole house and the kitchen. Uh, I still went through and I managed to find a little box of things that we hadn't used since we'd been here or the Mr. Men mugs. We used to have a set of three, but one accidentally got broken. So I'm going to pack those up and I think that they are ready to go to charity. They're things that we haven't used. I don't really need them. Don't have a sentimental attachment to them. We enjoyed using the Mr. Men mugs when we had a set of three, but now that one's broken, I don't think we'll probably use them because I don't want one of my kids to feel left out because he doesn't have one anymore. So I'm going to let those go and just get on with making dinner. Good boy, all being on the mat is worth celebrating. Good boy, Freddy baby. Wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -mm. Everyone always keep falling in love again What's wrong with them? I don't understand Maybe it will pass by someone save me For a pass out, I'm too lonely To be done, I'm a drink at this page I 
love how these spices look on this Lazy Susan so much, but I just don't have the cabinet space to store them at the moment. So I think that once some of the pantry things get used up, which I'm trying to do at the moment, really make recipes to use up all of the ingredients, all those containers that are full of random ingredients that you kind of only use really infrequently. I'm just trying to get recipes made to use all that up just to cut back on the different amount of ingredients that are stored in our pantry and then I'll have a little bit more cabinet space and be able to just spread out the storage of things like spices and condiments and things so that they're not all so squished up in tiny cabinets that are hard to access. Every time I use this steam mop on my channel, I always get a ton of questions. It is a Wertheim steam mop. I bought it from Godfrey's Australia. It's the only steam mop I've ever owned, but I absolutely love it. I don't think that anything gets your floors cleaned as well as a steam mop cleans them. I've got a spray mop. I've used disposable floor wipes. This thing gets your floor cleaned so, so well. I bought it on sale. It wasn't expensive. I think it was only like $70 or something on sale. 100% recommend it and I really love the triangular head because it gets into every nook and cranny. It's absolutely amazing. I figured what better way to declutter the ingredients in your pantry than to include a little baking section where I've just googled some recipes for the ingredients that I'm trying to use up and I just went ahead and baked with them. So I googled recipes for almond meal and coconut and it just came up straight away with a coconut and almond meal gluten free cake so I made that and then I also wanted to use up some of those dates. I had a mason jar full of dates. I've had them for probably six or eight months. They're still perfectly fine but I just wanted to get them used up so I made a date loaf as well which you will see a little bit later I'm not usually a fan of baking anything other than probably like basic packet cake mixes or muffin mixes for me it's just a whole lot of hard work it doesn't always turn out properly I am kind of getting better at it it always makes a mess but it's something that I'm trying to do more often and especially like encourage my kids to get into it as well. I love cooking, I love cooking meals, but baking sweets is really not my favorite, but I'm just trying to use up all those ingredients and get them out of the pantry so I can have a little bit more space back. Say something that will make my day Cause 
These memories of her won't go away. They're haunting me so I can't sleep. She was a pretty little liar who cut me deep. Cause she left me here alone. Now my bed feels just like cobblestone. Oh, oh. Why did she go? Oh, oh. Was I supposed to know that she'd leave? Was I the naive to think that she'd be the one? Oh, oh. Why did she go? I met her back in 20 years. So it's made a dent in the almond meal, a little bit in the coconut bit in the dates so I'm gonna have to keep baking I think and these things are just kind of staples in the pantry anyway so I wouldn't expect for those to be run completely down except maybe the flaked almonds it would probably be stored in a different container but that is at least making use of the ingredients so that they're not just sitting in the pantry they're actually getting used she left me here alone I know it's dumb I still check my phone cause I can't move on Whoa. Why did she go? Whoa. Was I supposed to know that she'd leave? Was I the naive to think that she'd be the one? Whoa. Just tell me why did she go? done with the baking and we have cleaned up the kitchen again it is time to take a look at the rearranged kitchen i'll leave a link to the recipes that i baked in the description box and some notes on them one turned out perfectly exactly how it was the other one needed a lot of extra baking so as far as the kitchen organization went it was really pretty straightforward but even those small changes have just made the functionality of the kitchen so much better just having the slight rearrange of the cabinets I've now got almost a full empty shelf in the big pantry. There's just a couple of mason jars with things in it and then two big empty food storage containers. The coffee machine and toaster are in their own little section. I still haven't been able to get rid of this shelf yet because I don't have anywhere to put this water filter, which is huge. It takes up so much room in the fridge. And then the dog food and the dog treats. We just need to find a little place for that. But I think once I move these containers and do a little bit more rearranging, once I've run down some of the ingredients in the pantry, I'll have a little bit extra space in the big pantry and I can pop them in there. But for now, I'm really happy with how it's turned out. I've got all the frequently used ingredients out on the bench where I use them every day. Everything else is tucked away and I'm really enjoying how it's turned out. Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground If you did enjoy this video be sure to give it a thumbs up it is really great feedback for me it helps me decide what kind of content to create on my channel if you are not subscribed already be sure to do so before you go hang out and watch another few videos have a fabulous week and as always i'll see you in the next video bye everyone i will keep on holding my head high even if the sky is falling down to have a bath.
you need to have another bath. Oh, somebody wants cuddles from Mama. Yeah, it's cuddling time, little one. It's cuddles time. Oh, it's time for cuddles, not for taking videos. It's time for cuddles, Mummy, not making videos. Even if the sky is falling down. Even if the sky is falling down. Hey, shark boy. Hey, little shark boy. Yeah.